Hello, in this video, I will show you how we access ICP HANA views from ABAP. Uh, we can use two ways to access ICP HANA views. Uh, the first way is using the uh, native SQL or ADBC class. Uh, ADBC means ABAP database uh, interface class. You can only use this way to access uh, HANA views before Nervira 7.4. And the second way is much easier. Uh, you can use the uh, Normal OpenSQL access external view, which is created in ABAP development tool. And this is a new feature of Nervira 7.4. And compare with the first week, it's much easier. It has nothing different with the traditional week. You access the, uh, uh, the underlying database table uh, in the uh, OpenSQL. Okay. Uh, as you can see here, I have two uh, systems installed in virtual machine. And the first one is Linux, uh, which is a platform uh, for HANA. And the second one, Windows Server 2008, uh, which is the uh, platform for the NetWeaver 7.4. Okay. Uh, now we first go to the ICP uh, uh, HANA Studio. Uh, we first need to choose one table uh, we're going to access by using the first way, uh, the native SQL or ADBC class. Actually, um, I will use the ADBC class to access the uh, partner table. Yeah. Uh, as you can see here, I go to the raw schema, which is created by me, and I go to table. Yeah, we can choose a moral table. Okay, we right click and open data preview. You can see we have some data like this. Okay. So then the next step, when you go to the SVP GUI to create a, a typical uh, other program to access this uh, HANA table. We go to SVP GUI and uh, before I create the uh, other program, we can first have a look at the uh, Navigable release. Okay, as you can see here, all the uh, software components are all upgraded to Nervira 7.4. Okay. And keep in mind this is uh, currently uh, the uh, Nervira 7.4 is only for evaluation purpose. So it's not used for production. Now I just import transaction SE 38. Uh, we see some uh, partner tests. We click and we give a partner. Okay, oh sorry, I need to choose the time. I put it in local object because I don't want to transfer it. Okay. Here just copy some code. Um I use four. Just give some time. You can see here I just define uh, several their types, especially corresponding to the uh, ADBC class and uh, uh, then I just give the very um, native uh, simple SQL to get some data from the uh, HANA model table. And then I execute this SQL. Then we get the result and we output the result. Okay? So I can run this SQL, SQL statement in HANA Studio just to verify if it works or not. I go to SQL and input this uh, SQL statement. Okay, so we have some data like this. Okay, so now now we go back to SVG to activate the program we just created. Okay, now we can run it. So we have the same data output. So it works. And this is the first way. Okay, uh, now we need to uh, try the second week because we are on Nervir 7.4. We should have a much easier way to access the HANA views. Okay. Um, okay. As uh, we did in the first week, we first need to go to the HANA studio. We need to choose the uh, uh, HANA views because we first tried the table and this time, the second time, uh, we want to try the uh, HANA views. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I have the analytics view or character views created. Uh, you can choose the um, 
I knew them. But this time, I want to try the character view. I double click the character view. Now here you can see, I create this um, character view based on very simple SQL script. And actually it's a unit function for both the field and the delivery. Okay, so I also want to verify data before um, I move forward. Okay, we have some data. And then we need to go back to the uh, ABAP development tool to create external view so that we can consume that external view in ABAP program. Okay, so by, this, by doing this, we have to use the uh, ABAP development tool, which is uh, integrated in the uh, Eclipse. Okay, so I have already configured well the uh, ABAP development tool. And in order to try the second bit, you have to uh, configure the ABAP development tool too. Now we go to my favorite package, it's temporary local package. So we go to the dictionary. Okay, you can see you have some database table of views. Okay, and here I can choose new dictionary view. Here I give a name. Yeah, I just put the same for the description. Uh, then you can choose which ton of view you're going to create based on, okay? Because uh, as I said before, we want to create the external view based on the character view, the order, then we choose next. And the wording matches no change recording enabled for package temp. Okay, that's fine because we put everything in local. We so choose finish and now it's done. So the last step is going to activate this uh, external view so we can access uh, from within the ABAP program. Okay, it's activated already. Now when you go to the uh, ABAP program we created before, we need to make some minor change so that we can use the second week to access this uh, uh, ICP horror views. We can also access ABAP program from the ABAP development tool integrated in the Eclipse. Okay, so expand source library, we can see this is the horn of test program we created in the SCP GUI, right? Double click. Yeah, before I can change it, I have to unlock it in the SCP GUI. Okay, so, sorry. It's a bit slow. Okay, so we need to make some minor change because uh, we want to try the second slow processor. Go back, go back. Okay, so we unlock because you cannot um, change the program at the same time. Okay, so first I need comment or the uh, coding we did for the first week. And then we can just try very uh, traditionally like uh, we access a normal uh, table. The first we need to define a external table so that we can retrieve data from the partner view. Okay, we gave the name RFP or time. Uh, standard table. Oh, that's the, the odd. Remember, this is the uh, external view we just defined, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to define a, a separate work area, so we just define with the header line so we can output this. Okay. And then uh, it's nothing different than the uh, normal OpenSQL. We can select 
uh, let's see what the fields we can pick up, MATR or WRTS, okay? That maybe what I think to correct finding fields or table LT order. Okay, and we need to output the uh, result. Okay, so we can finish our coding. It's uh, pretty simple. And we can click check. Warning, there's a warning message. Okay. Okay, there's only one warning message. The working area. LTO that has more fields than selected. Okay, that's fine. So now we have to activate. It. Okay, and finally we have this program activated so that we can execute. Um, okay, before I do that, we can also choose only five rows. Up to five rows. Okay, they are run this program. Yeah, here we see the uh, output. We have a uh, five rows with the uh, three fields we select in our program. So as you can see, compared with the uh, first three, it's uh, much easier and uh, you know very easy to 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 operate. Okay, and that's all. Thanks for watching.